Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this short recording I'd like to show you some examples of spontaneous muscle fiber activity. Just as a short recap of the normal situation, when we stick a needle inside a muscle, we generally do that to measure motor unit action potentials, which have a shape as you can see here on the screen. Uh, and besides motor unit action potentials, we do not expect any other activity to be present. However, in cases of severe nerve injury, all axons are lost and all muscle fibers have lost contact with their axon. And after about a week or two or so, they start producing spontaneous muscle fiber activity. And this activity is visible in the shape of positive sharp waves and fibrillation potentials. The typical characteristics of these potentials are that they have a very low amplitude, they appear irregularly uh, on your screen, and they increase in intensity as you move the needle. It's often been compared to the sound of rain on a tin roof. So that's all for now. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully this will help you in recognizing spontaneous muscle fiber activity after a nerve injury. See you again in my next video.